Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solutions. My name is Sumit and I'm a VP for Technology Operations and Technical Head for Salesforce, Data Science and Data Visualization in BISP. We, in BISP, we are committed to provide solutions to your business problems in a given time frame, and we can help you to turn your strategic plans to exceptional. Today, I'm with i'm here with my new video for a sumo logic and basically sumo logic is a next generation logging system why i can call it as a next generation logging system because using sumo logic we can perform real time options we we can perform real time logging uh, on our systems and it can help us to make the data driven decisions and also it reduce the time to investigate security and operational issues now the logging can be handled it can basically the sumo logic can handle the logs from your local machine from your local windows from any other uh, ERP system using or any other cloud database you will be using so it can handle the logs from everywhere So let me give you an overview about it. First of all, what exactly sumo logic is so sumo logic is a cloud Native multi-tenant platform which helps in making data driven decisions and reduces time to investigate security and operational issues as I mentioned that Sumo Logic can connect logs from almost any systems in nearly any format. Here it could be CSV or it could be Excel or it could be any other format. You will be using whatever your database format is, whatever your application format will be, Sumo Logic can collect logs from there. At the same time, Sumo Logic may provide the offline and online both altering and notification of your uh, logs. It can collect the terabytes of logs data and can perform analytics on that. So basically, using Sumo Logic, we can connect and centralize more than 150 applications and integrate, which makes it easy to aggregate data across these stacks and which will uh, which will help you to uh, to perform the to to generate the logs and aggregate the data and as i mentioned that it provides the real-time altering so it helps you rapidly identify and resolve your uh, potential cyber attacks the detects and prevent breaches and reduce the compliance costs for your operations also we can easily monitor and visualize so, so our team can uh, visualize the logs, the metrics, and performance data for full stack visibility, and also it provides the reliable delivery on time. And it's a 24 by 7 notification system, so we can activate that notification system. So whenever any logs are new, logs are generated, or we can, uh, if there are some issues with a specific uh with a specific log it will notify us through emails and all so we can fetch data from our applications from microservices from cloud systems and infrastructure from SaaS services, mobile devices from the third party systems and feeds and so on now let me tell you about so this is what exactly sumo logic is now let me tell you about the sumo logic components so in sumo logic there's a collector and what is a collector collector is a small application that gather logs data from your server and send it to the sumo logic cloud using the sumo logic web application we can interact with and analyze the data in the cloud in real time so basically, collector will be collecting the data from various uh, various uh, servers, and it is sending onto Sumo Logic server, Sumo Logic cloud. And we can, with the help of Sumo Logic web application, we can analyze the data. Uh, 
now if we talk about the web application so web application is where you have to log in where which allows you to view and analyze your log data in the cloud it also provides a powerful and intuitive search capability we can use the web applications to expedite functions like forensic analysis troubleshooting and system health check at the same time sumo logic web application it provide access from anywhere globally you can access it from anywhere since it is fully browser based so it provides all the required administration tools for managing uh, managing your application and we don't need to install anything for that now let me show you an interface for my sumo logic and these are the that's the app catalog in my sumo logic where i can uh, where i can collect logs from various sources as you can see i can collect logs from my active directory or from amazon or amazon kafka is also there apache is also there apache tomcat or if i scroll down box.com is there and uh, uh, you might have heard about salesforce crm so we can fetch data from we can collect logs from salesforce crm also we can collect logs from slack also or we can collect from our local windows system also for we can manage the windows performance and windows events so i have for just for demonstration purpose i have already connected my sumo logic i have already created a new collector to fetch the uh, of all the windows performance for my machine and when i expand it we can see here yeah so i need to quickly log in not an issue it logged me out now as you can see i just click on collectors and we have windows performance and in windows performance we have cpu performance disk performance memory performance network performance and so on so i click on disk disk performance to check my performance of my disk and as you can see this would be shown this would be opening a dashboard for me it's a real time dashboard and this would be showing the uh, my disk performance my idle time for my disk the reading time and write time i can switch to live mode and this would be for last 15 minutes data we can change 15 minutes to if you want to track the logs for um, more than last 15 minutes we can go for that by default it would be showing last 15 minutes but we have other options we can let me deactivate this otherwise yeah so as you can see i can see the logs for today yesterday last three days last seven days last 30 days this month previous month and so on and previous week i would like to show for last seven days so let me switch to last seven days and i can see my disk performance for last seven days and that's the average byte reading average total byte and so on and if you want to fetch a new uh, if you want to get for a new uh, if you want to create a new log search we can also do that easily or we can go for cpu performance so that's a pre-built dashboards so i can see these are dashboards so these all are existing dashboards as you can see that's my cpu performance for last 15 minutes and so basically i can see the performance of my system and also uh, we can uh, while configuring this we can configure logs so that if any critical issues will be available in my system it will notify me with the help uh, with the help of an email that's for my windows performance and uh, we have also events also these are dashboards and these are some uh, these are some log search actually you can say and where for example i would like to see the alert host with high cpu in last 15 minutes so when i double click on this it will quickly generate a query that's a script source category windows performance and this would be the script so basically these are system generated scripts we don't need to do anything with this we don't have to write but those who like if you have if you are well versed in sumo logic if you know how to change it out we can also do that and we can start it again we have an option for changing for last 14 days last 30 days and so on and uh, also we can see the options the messages we can see the messages 
we have performance for aggregation so uh, time comparison can be done we can do some so we can do some more research onto it so this is the way we can generate the logs and that's a setup wizard search for windows event and i can see for windows that's a windows event for last three hours so that is for last three hours events i am getting so last three hours basically if we can see more info info about this what exactly it is so it is for last uh, that's the 49 messages we can double click on it and we can see the messages we, uh, we we can see the messages which would be created during this so that's the way we can so we can see that this is a log file for security record number and so on so that's the way we can take help of sumo logic or we can use sumo logic to generate all our logs uh, in my upcoming videos i am going to demonstrate you that how can we use sumo logic to get in, integrate with python and how can we perform how can we generate logs or how can we record logs from python system into uh, sumo logic or how can we uh, how can we generate logs from salesforce into sumo logic so we uh, that i can i would be going to demonstrate you in my upcoming video so that's all in this video uh, if you have some queries related regarding sumo logic or if you have some doubts you can come back to us you can get back to us we would be providing consulting services on almost all technologies like sumo logic and other other operations the other activities so you can contact with us thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye